Frost always said, the wild reward the curious. <laughs> I think I could get used to flying. How about some warm-up shots? You remember how it goes, don't you? You ready an arrow, and then you pull the string. <laughs> Very funny. Gets funnier every time you say it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Even after years of being hit, the target still hadn't learned to move out of the way. But then, that's inanimate objects for you. I have something for you. A strange device Tirsa found next to you when you were a baby. It's called a... focus? <gasps> I won't ask why you've kept it from me all this time because I'm just too excited! Give me! Huh. Um, do I... does it go like... looks like it goes... here. <gasps> Come on, I've waited years to find out what it does. Whoa. I can see stuff shining on those targets. Like it's telling me where to shoot. This must be so rare. Like one of a kind. Actually, Tirsa found a whole bag. Always good to have some spares, right? For friends and family? Aloy couldn't wait to make some new friends and start handing out focuses to them. They were gonna look so cool. Toasting that machine dummy since you were five, but it never gets old. Excuse me, Rost. The dummy has a name, and it's Fred. But sorry, Fred. It's okay. He forgives you. After everything Aloy had put him through, Fred had certainly earned some respect. But other machines in the wild were rather less friendly. Ooh, getting toasty. Here comes Aloy! Aw, we're all ready. That's one ticked off broadhead. Remember, don't let it charge at you. Might be best to sneak up on it. As long as you stay in the long grass, it won't see you. Yeah, I know, but it's so itchy. Aloy had heard stories of the days when the metal creatures were docile and peaceful. It made her think that maybe destroying them wasn't the nicest thing to do. Then one would headbutt her in the face and she'd get over it. That glowing spot is a great place for my arrow. Target right there on the shiny spot. See me out there? I've got all the moves. Now I just have to meet Tirsa, find out who my mother was, and life will be pretty much perfect. Don't start celebrating yet. It's bad luck. Right, bad luck. Besides, there's one more thing you must face before we go on. What? Lunch. Thought you might get the munchies, so I got up early and made you your favorite sandwich. Pickle? Nice! What are we waiting for? I'm starving here! Wait. Hear that? Sounds like Mother's heart is in trouble. It's under attack! They're taking people away! We have to do something! We're too far away, Aloy. Look! There's people moving over there! 
Come on, move it. Let us go, you wing nuts! Let us go! <laughs> nice try, Grandma. I ain't your grandma, pasty white butt face. No, that was tears, so wasn't it? She has the Ow! She's still at it! Stop messing around! Helis is waiting for us! Oh, celebrating too early is bad luck. We have to help her. Come on, let's find out what happened. Nope, 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 Yes! <laughs> Mother's heart was far emptier than the village Aloy had imagined. Then again, a strange cult had just kidnapped a bunch of people, so the place was quieter than usual. But I'll let Sona, the villager's tough defender, fill you in. Take it away, Sona. I can't believe this happened on my watch. Cultists right inside Mother's heart. What happened? I went out to deal with some machines prowling outside our gates, but it was all part of the cult's plan. Just as I was giving this nasty broadhead a wedgie, I realized something didn't smell right. By the time I got back, Tirsa and the others were gone. How many people did they take? You know how hard it is to count without fingers. All I know is we have to save them. But... I can't leave my post again. Don't worry. We saw the way they went. We'll get Tirsa and the others back. One more thing. My son, Varl. He ran off on a rescue mission before I could stop him. The boy's got a good heart. But he's not ready for this kind of trouble. Cultists, huh? Sounds mysterious. I'm not worried about our missing friends. I'm just really concerned and upset. Mm -hmm. I'm close doors, I'm a fool for your love.